Hey everybody, this is Dustin Briley with Briley Brothers. Today we're in Glendale, Arizona. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to take a look at this three bedroom, two bathroom home. It's 2,045 square feet, has a two car garage. The lot is 7,871 square feet. Here's a pan of the neighborhood. This home was built in 1984. It has no HOA, which some people love, some people hate. There is a little step down right here. And there is a step up there. It's listed at 530,000. You can tell the exterior has been recently painted. If you enjoy this type of content, we shoot one to two of these videos a day, each and every day. So I encourage you to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. And if you need help buying or selling, our contact information will be down in the description. My brother and I, we work the whole valley. We're in the top 1% and we'd love to help you buy or sell your next property. Okay, so right as you come in, you'll notice there's a step up there and a step up there. You have tile throughout. The house feels uh, freshly painted, but almost, in my opinion, a little too white. As you step up, it looks like they have a light here, like it would be situated for a table. But I think if you put a table there, it would be tight against this island. I do like the island's overhang. That's going to be great to eat at. These are quartz countertops. It looks like they kept the original cabinets and just painted them white. I think I would have opted to replace them, but to each his own. It looks like a lot of this was kind of done maybe by a homeowner. Um, I can just see kind of little imperfections like see right here where the tile's taller. There's a lot of little stuff like that. And then see how the tile behind the oven doesn't match. So once again, it's a nice home. Just I like to point out these things so you're not surprised. This is going to be your main living area, your family room. Nice vaulted ceilings. Painted brick fireplace. Let's go step out back, check out the backyard. So you do have a decent size covered patio. And then the backyard for the most part is just pretty much unfinished. It looks like it's just kind of in disarray. Kind of a, maybe a spot for a fire pit or something right there. Lots of doors uh, leading into different parts of the house. Okay, so it looks like this is pool equipment. That's interesting. So I wonder if that's actually hot tub equipment and that's what that was right there, was a hot tub possibly. That would be my best guess. A lot of these older homes, you're going to see that the AC units are going to be up on the roof. This looks like it's partially shingled and uh, partially tiled roof. It feels like someone, you know, the homeowner or someone just decided, hey, let's kind of fix this up, get it on the market, try to move it. Uh, but it doesn't feel like it was, everything was done to the level some people would expect. I think that's part of the reason that this is sitting on the market. You know, another thing is you start to see like the texture on the ceiling. There might've been a wall here at some time and they just didn't get it fully textured and a lot of mist matched texture kind of throughout. 
Off the family room, you're gonna have the living room with the hot water heater, and then the two car garage. Okay, so walking by the entryway, I think, so what do we have over here? So I think I'm standing in the formal living room and then that side would be a great spot for the dining room table. Another access point to outside. So there's the formal living room. Here we have bathroom number one. Tiled uh, bathtub and shower. Quartz countertops, these are matching countertops to the kitchen. What's going on? And then here we have bedroom number one. Slightly above average size bedroom. The vaulted ceiling helps that appear a little bigger. Newer carpet. Here is bedroom number two. And then this is interesting. So let me see if I can show you this. So I feel like I would rather have a door right here. So this, you walk through, now you're in the primary and you can choose to go to the primary bedroom or to the primary closet. It has, it looks like an exterior door on it. I feel like I almost wouldn't put a door on this and I'd put a door in the spot that I said and then this would be your main closet. Kind of a strange room. Then here is your primary bedroom, pretty average sized. You have access to the backyard, one small window and then that door, but it does feel like it gets quite a bit of light. So in here we have a walk-in shower, and then we have a skylight right by the shower, which gives it a ton of light in here. Don't have a bathtub, and you have a little closet here. And then your toilet is over here, and you have access out to what would have been probably the hot tub with the sink here. So if you did put a pool or hot tub, this would be a great uh, bathroom access point. And then I think, so this is no longer a door. So it's not an operational door right there, but you could access outside. Yeah, so that's the home. If you have any questions, I will link to the listing down in the description. And like I always mention, my brother and I are both licensed full-time realtors in the state of Arizona. We're in the top 1%, which means we sell a lot of homes. And we'd love to help you with your next real estate transaction. I'm gonna link to the uh, listing down in the description and our contact information will be down there as well. And like always, I appreciate you watching and uh, have a great day.